what's up guys your boy gerald back on the inside with another review and as you can see from the title today we are doing our first impression on afnan's supremacy not only intense is that yeah supremacy not only intense from afnan first impression this has been out i think about two years two three years now but i'm um, now getting my nose on it so decided to do just a first impression unbox it everything right here for you guys and let you know what i think off the bat if this is something you're interested in you were looking at purchasing i just give you what i think about it so before we do that if this is the first time tuning into this channel my name is jerel and on this channel we discuss everything fragrance related so if you enjoy content like that make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell so you'll be notified every time i put out a new video let's get straight into this guys so yeah unboxing everything off the camera so straight from the packaging here so let's go let's go having some issues here guys hope you guys are doing well haven't dropped a video in a little while but we're going again we're going again are right, you keeping it moving and yeah all right so that's the box and this is the bottle beautiful beautiful all right so fresh out the box and we go in with the first impression though what is to be a long video let me just get my test strips here so this is supposed to be a clone of i believe it's hashivat all right so let's see i know you know i love my hashivat you all know you all know you all know all right so we go in one time here all right hmm. atomizer is actually decent man whoa okay all right all right all right so immediately i start to get that pineapple a fruity juicy pineapple so obviously again it's in that same vein like aventus hashivat i try to pinpoint if it's, this is exactly a hashivat clone all right or an aventus clone all right so yes yeah, very very fruity on the top smells good let me just say it smells good all right doesn't smell cheap or synthetic and again that vibe as yet all right you still have to wait till it dry down and all these things but um yeah 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 so far of this strip again those fruity elements getting that kind of black current vibe as well yeah it's, it's, it's smelling it's smelling good all right so I, as i said i don't know if it's a hashi vat clone as yet i'll have to test it on skin and so on to really to really see if okay it's leading more hashi vat or if it's leading more aventus but it's definitely right now it smells like both of them it smells like you know a little bit of hashi vat a little bit of, of aventus so let me spray this on skin all right now let it dry down and come back probably like after an hour and let you guys know what the dry down is like um if my first impressions apart from the initial spray has changed all right so i'll come back and give you guys okay on skin it's slightly different though all right so getting that a lot of citrus a lot of fruits getting a nice little zesty vibe as well all right so let me check out the notes on this let me check out the notes on this i haven't we still just fragrance. I haven't done. I haven't looked at any reviews on this fragrance. This is. I just wanted to keep it strictly my first impression. So let me see what's going on here in terms of the notes. All right. So it came out in 2021. All right. So on the top we have the black currant. Yeah. All right. We have bergamot. So that's the citrus, zesty citrus that I was getting. We have apple. Okay. Okay. So that apple is giving it that sweet fruity vibe. All right. So I guess that's why they probably. Kind of leaning more to hashivat because the, the pineapple in hashivat is you know a bit more pronounced than the recent batches of Peter Ventus. In the mid, we have oak moss, patchouli, lavender. All right, so that's there's that aromatic feel coming from the uh, uh the lavender oak moss. All right. I guess I'll again I'll wait till it dry down to see if the oak moss comes to the forefront. And in the base, we have amber green moss and saffron. Not really getting any saffron, of course, you any dry down, you it may go. A bit musky or it may go a bit woody so let's see so what i'll do i would spray hashivat on my right arm see and try to compare them and see all right so all right hashivat you can see all right okay so in the opening of course there's similarities but i'm not seeing it directly lean and hashivat as yet right hashivat you get that oak moss and that pine working together on the top immediately and of course the quality smells much more higher in the hashivat right so this this is leaning more aromatic kind of getting some of the lavender 
as it starts to settle down. Alright, so I'll leave them. Well, this one in particular. And come back like probably after an hour and tell you what I think, what I'm getting, and close off this video. Alright, so again, alright guys, so I'm back to give you my final thoughts on the dry down, let you know what wifey things and all that. And yeah, send me on your way. Alright, so after like that hour that dry down it's starting to give me a little bit more of that middle eastern vibe so you know those middle eastern fragrances have that kind of uh, is a dna most of them have it i don't want to call it like a plasticky synthetic vibe i don't really want to label it as that but if you're familiar with middle eastern sense i think you'll know what i'm referring to so i'm getting that here in the dry down also it leans a bit more musky now not so much on the woody side um the sweetness has tamed down a lot but you're still getting a little bit of it in there. And um, I would say it, it's really, it's really a mixture of Aventus, Hashivat, probably Nui. Any of those fragrances, it's doing its own thing, but still smells similar to those fragrances. Well, I sprayed it and I asked my wife what she thought about it. Also, or I also allowed her to smell it from my hand and well first of all she said it's too strong for her <laughs> right again that's probably that middle eastern vibe but i said like what do you think about the scent itself she said it smells good smells good so you know that creed aventus dna right people like it especially when they get a whiff of it in the air so i expect this to do that same thing i'll have to give it a full wearing and then obviously i'll come back and do a full review on this fragrance right so this is just first impression my thoughts i'm pleased really feeling it would i say it's better than Club you know, we and you know all the other clones again i can't say yet but because it, it's similar right i can't say it so when I, only when i do a full wearing i'll be able to address that point but so far so good i don't really have any issues with it it's it's team them a lot on my skin i'm not sure it's because i'm sniffing it so much that i'll probably go in a, a bit and as mictate but again so far so good right now this is something i would recommend so if you're you cannot you're probably tired of the club you know we you know, or any of the other clothes and you want to try something else. This is a nice one to check out, definitely. So yeah, that's that's basically my first impression on this one. I give it a thumbs up. If I if you're really asking me, okay, John, is it Creed Aventus or is it really a Hashibat clone? I would probably lean more to the Hashibat. Yeah, the Creed Aventus has a bit more of that woody, bergamotti, birchy vibe. This one, again, it's slightly different. So I'll probably say it more leans Hashivat side with all the oak moss. That probably don't make any sense, but um, because we know that 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 is the main note in the Hashivat. Again, if you want to check this out, you know you can head across to our Instagram page, Men's Fragrance and Fashion Outlet. We have these available. If you want to get your hands on it ASAP. If you have this one, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know how you rank it. If you have smelled the other clones, you know, just just give me some feedback on your thoughts on it. This is my feedback today. Hope it was helpful in some way. So thanks for taking the time to watch this, guys. And we're going to be coming at you with more reviews, more videos every week. So stay locked to the channel. Again, I appreciate you hanging out with me today, guys. Don't forget to like, smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. And as I always say, stay fresh, smell the best. And I'll catch you in the next video, right? So until then, I'm out. Peace.